When you start writing a lot of DOM events, one of the most important function that you would need to learn is the bounce function. So what is a debound function? Imagine if you're building a shopping cart where user have picked lots of item to purchase and as a last event, the user is clicking on a purchase button. At that point, the purchase order goes to the server. But what if user clicks on that button accidentally twice in a quick succession? Does that mean the order will go twice? It depends on how you design the system, but you can protect against that kind of behavior using a debounce function. The bounce function is basically, if you keep clicking on the same button many times, it would, it would execute that event at the last, on a last click. For example, if you have a, an event on a mouse move, and when my mouse moves from one point to another, it will keep firing the mouse move event. And on every mouse move, you don't wanna fire that event. So what you want to do is when the mouse starts to move and as soon as the mouse end, then you want to fire that event. So it only happens on a one time on a mouse move. And similarly, if you're scrolling on something and there's an event, you can use the debounce function to prevent lots of events being fired. So let's understand how it really works. So let's create a button uh, with ID called my ID and I'm gonna call it click me. Here I have a button and I can add an event to it uh, using the my ID. So I would say document dot get element by ID and that would be my ID and I can add some event to it. So add event listener. And this event would be, let's say, click event. And I can simply have an event which says console log clicked. So let's run this. And then I will click on it and I have a clicked event. But what if I keep clicking? It will, every time it will fire a click event. So I don't want this. What if I just keep clicking? I want at the last click, I want the event to be fired. And that's the right behavior because user can accidentally click double times. So how do I do that? So let's create a debounce function. And the concept of debound function is, what you do is you set a timeout. So on every click, the click event won't fire right away. You would put, let's say, two second uh, set timeout, which means after two second, the click event would fire. And in meantime, let's say if a user click, is, click on the same button again, that set timeout gets reset. So instead of this console log, I would call a debounce function. So this would be debounce. Now it's not a built-in function. You have to still build in, build this function. And you would have an element. And this function would take two arguments. The first argument is the function that, that you wanna execute. And the second argument would be how much time do you want it? So let's say in this case, I want two seconds, which means 200 millis 2000 milliseconds. And I will simply say console log clicked. Okay, now it won't work right now because I don't have this function. So let's build this function. Again, it takes two argument, a function and a, and a, a timeout. So I'm gonna build it here, const debounce equal to, uh, it will take a function and let's say delay, right? Delay is nothing but this two second. So this uh, debounce function will get executed as soon as I pass in and it would return the, the handle that will, that will get executed. So it will return a function. So this is a higher order function. And 
it will have it can have a bunch of arguments and what it will do and uh, it would set timeout and that we can time out until the delay the same delay that we are passing here and inside we would execute this function so i would say function whatever function we pass which is this function it does look a little bit complex but if you understand it thoroughly then you would understand how it works and i would pass the same arguments here all right now every time i call this I need to set, I need to get an ID of this set timeout so I can cancel it if user clicks on multiple times. So let's call it timeout ID equal to. And instead of defining here, I'm gonna define it here. So it, it would hold it as a closure. So let's call it let timeout ID. And so it will be undefined initially and it would set it once it sets a timeout and again if you click on it again what it needs to do is if you have a previously set some timeout it needs to cancel it so all it would do is if there is a timeout id then it needs to cancel it so it would say clear timeout and timeout id okay that's all it needs to do so let's understand this function. It would pass two things, function and a delay. The function that we're trying to execute, which would be this function, where we simply say console log clicked. Okay, so that's that function. And the delay is 2000 millisecond, which means two seconds. And it would return another function, which if there is a previously set timeout ID, then it would clear it first so that it won't execute after that that much second and it would set a new timeout id uh, by setting set timeout so there was a typo here clear timeout okay now if i click one time then it says clicked okay now let's click consecutively so if i keep clicking it doesn't print even after two seconds it's already two seconds right but it doesn't print because it keep clearing now if I stop, then after two seconds, it would click. So this prevent all the excessive uh, events from firing. That's it, folks. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. Don't forget to write a comment. Uh, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter, and you can follow the Facebook groups if you have any questions re regarding React or any other front-end related questions. Uh, you can purchase my Udemy courses. I have two courses currently on React and also JavaScript. And you can translate this video. The information is in the description. And thank you.